Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, it is snowing. It hasn't snowed like damn near all winter, but uh, it is snowing and uh, we're going ice racing. Uh, we're taking the studded tires that I made. Uh, if you guys haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Uh, and we're going to throw them on my stock ass EK Civic. Uh, this thing's got a D16 Y7, so it's probably uh, not going to be very competitive. <laughs> but uh, if all else fails, we'll still have fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just got the tires all pumped up and uh, we're going to be heading down to the uh, ice fishery, the Otter Street Ice Fishery. Um, and we'll pick up when we get there. Should be a lot of fun today. We are down here at the fishery and uh, Michael came with me so he can help me put my tires on and be of a support. You got gloves, dude? Yeah, in the car. Oh, that looks really cold. Yeah. <laughs> you should have worn your studded boots. Yeah, it's so slippery out here. I think I almost fell like eight times already. <laughs> There's probably, I don't know how many people are out here right now, but there's quite a few. We'll have to go down by the motorcycles as well. But there's uh, quite a few cars here gonna race today. A lot of trucks, not a lot of Honda Civics, but here we are. Yeah, there is a BMW with uh, drywall screws. Or no, he's got he's got roofing nails he's instead of drywall screws. He's got nails in his? Yeah. That's not smart. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I just got my studded tires all put on the car and now we're kind of just driving around the pits. This is over where the motorcycle racing is happening. Don't you know today's for horsepower, brother? All right, we gotta practice some launching here considering this car has no power. We have to have every driver advantage that we can. So uh, we'll, we'll try to launch it here and see if it hooks up. What do you think, three grand? Yeah. Oh yeah. So it looks like there is quite a few studded cars out here. There's that BMW and there's my buddy with his, uh, uh, it's like a 500 horsepower Talon. Uh, we'll have to go say hi to him, but uh, he beat me. I had my hatch out here one year that made 450 horsepower and he's the only one that beat me. So yeah, we're gonna have some competition on our hands today. All the fast guys out here using drywall screws. Is this four wheel drive? Yeah. What? Uh, e or F or some shit? Oh, really? Yeah. I think they're right. <laughs> the camera on? Yeah. <laughs> it's slippery as fuck out here. So they are currently racing the four wheel drive rubber class. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they do. It's real slick out here. These guys can barely even move. <laughs> so it looks like this is the starting line and then you'll have to go down, make a right hand turn. Then you got a little bit of a straightaway into a sharp left. And that may be all of it. Do you see how it goes? Is it, is it just a right? Oh yeah, four by. Is it just a right and then a left? Big S. All right, so we figured we'd come over to the oval track and see how the motorcycles are doing. Uh, I think the little 60s or 80s just ran, the little peewee class. And uh, I think they're just practicing right now, but uh, we'll see what comes out next and I'll show you guys the oval.
27, 28 pounds. Yeah. Just gonna send it. We're gonna, we're So uh, we are class F, I believe, for the uh, two-wheel drive studded class. And then I'm also racing in the four-wheel drive studded class as well. Why not? Um, and I believe we are actually the next class up. So we are kind of just sitting here waiting in line. And the key here, I think, is to never lift. So I'm going to try to stay pinned the whole track. I mean, I might have to lift one. I'm gonna try my hardest to just stay in it and turn the wheel and hopefully we'll do good. A V8 Dodge Dakota with studded tires. Yep, that's exactly the problem I had. I had to keep her, I had to keep her just lazy. We got a BMW with studded tires. Big old jacked up Ford Ranger. I think there was like a Cavalier and then my buddy's 500 horsepower Talon. I think he's only running in the four wheel drive class, but yeah, we should be able to uh, hopefully keep up with these guys. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so here's this guy with this Cavalier. He said he's number two, so I think I'm gonna be the first one up here. And they, they actually plow the track before the studded guys run, so I don't know. I've never even ran the track yet. They don't give you practice laps or anything. All right, so some guy generously uh, let me use his helmet, because I guess you need a helmet for the studded class. And uh, here we go. Pulling up to the starting line. So you get two runs in each class. And I'm in two classes, so I should get four runs total. I did pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit. That was pretty good. <laughs> Woo! That was fucking awesome. <laughs> wow. I feel like I killed it. I feel like that was awesome, guys. <laughs> All right, now we got to line up again for our second run, I think. round two guys I left it in first gear almost the whole track this tranny is such a long geared trans that first gear actually works pretty good all right so it looks like uh, the two-wheel drive studded class is done and we're doing four-wheel drive studded now so uh, yeah hopefully we can hang with the four-wheel drive <laughs> some of these guys out here are pretty quick I definitely wish I had the CRX still for this because this thing is definitely a not fast at all. This motor is a turd. All right, we got a fresh plowed track. Hopefully we get this thing to hook up out of the hole a little better. 
I'm gonna try to two-step it. <laughs> Because like first gear isn't quite long enough. If first gear was a little bit longer, I could leave it in first the whole time. I think this last run I'm gonna leave it in first the whole time. Alright, so we're gonna get a clip of Casey's car outside of the car. This is the final run of the day. All right, make this a good one, Hunter. This is Casey's second time up here. The track's not big enough to utilize a bunch of horsepower. It's really not. First place, one minute flat, Jason Foy. He was just here. Well, I took third place in both of the classes that I entered. I think there was like five or six people in each class. I don't know exactly how many. But uh, the times in between the people that won and the people that lost, say like, I got third place and I had 22.8 seconds and the guy that had first place had 22.7. 22.72 or something so it was within a tenth of a second for the like final three people that were fucking racing you know so that could have been a stopwatch error or anything but whatever i'm not here to fucking win i at least won my money back so i'm happy but now we're just gonna go uh mess around on the track and uh have some fun because that's why we're here four deep stock ass civic did you see that they just had to go you can't move yeah, you need studs, lady. I feel like it's way more going on the other direction. So we are out here with the Civic and we're just messing around and we're gonna dig a hole with the tires. 
So Michael is going to film and uh, I'm gonna do a burnout on the ice to show you how the uh, car can dig through the ice. It wouldn't go any deeper. I, I held it till it would stop. We'll clear the, the snow out of the way here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's up to my wrist or so. That's probably six inches or so. <laughs> Was the bumper laying on the ground? I feel like I should pull into it and take a picture. Yes. Get deeper when he came out too. guys hopefully you enjoyed the video uh, back home now and tires are still holding up great um, it was a lot of fun today we uh, went out and went racing and kind of tried to show you a little bit of the Otter Street fishery hopefully you enjoyed it um, if you did hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and uh, we'll see you tomorrow I might be pulling the Mustang in the garage tomorrow or putting the cylinder heads on the motor so be sure to be uh, on the lookout for those videos uh, like I said, that's kind of the plan for tomorrow is get the uh, LS motor back together for the Mustang and uh, maybe get it into the car. <clears throat> so have a good day, guys. Mm -hmm.